I've been waiting for this for almost two years, and it's not even pictured in the Lionel 2022 catalog. And we're going to take a look next on Mark's Lionel Trains. and I'd like to wish everyone a Happy New Year 2024. And what I mean by that is that the doodle bug that we have here is not even pictured in the catalog. It's only in the table of contents at the end of the catalog. These are the things that I guess didn't make the cut in the catalog. But what we have here today is the Brand new doodle bug, and I was been really excited to get this. Uh, Eric's Trains just did a uh, great review on this locomotive, so I'm even more excited to open mine up. There's a view of the tag. It's the uh, on board date of 8 31 2023. So this is really really cool. I think this is MTH tooling, from what I understand from everyone, and uh, we're gonna open it up. Eric did not do a unboxing, so I'm very curious to see uh, how it is packaged. Hopefully it has some styrofoam, uh, like the MTH probably does. I think MTH uses a lot of styrofoam, so we'll open this up and see how it's packaged. All right, I love get opening new trains. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, get out of the box. Lion Chief 2.0. So, I do have some Lion Chief products. Let's take a look at the side of the box there. Santa Fe 2.0 Doodlebug. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. And this has a really nice, thick, plastic outer bag protecting the box. And let's see what we got. It is the blister pack. Oh well, that's okay. At least it hasn't been cold. That's for sure. Okay, oh look at that. There it is in the packaging. And here's the owner's manual. You always want to read that, that's for sure. I own several uh, 2.0 items. I have a steamer and a F3 set. All right, let's get this out. And we have stuck here. There we go. Okay. Ah, there it is. It's big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, you get the some traction tires there. There's your extra traction tires. You get your smoke fluid thing. It's actually gotten smaller. It's not as big as the other uh, smoke fluid. And there's a look at the doodle bug. Oh, is that cool looking? This is really, really neat. Eric did an awesome uh, history on these, so I'm not gonna, uh, you can watch his video. I believe these were the from the early 1900s and, and they uh, ran pretty much by themselves. So, all right, let's look at the underside. Very nice, awesome, cool. All right, let's uh, get this on the layout and check it out, awesome. Very cool. And there's a look at the doodle bug on the layout. Looking good. I guess these were uh, used up until the 1960s for just short rail, uh, small commuter. They would just pretty much run these by themselves. So really cool. Here's a, a look at the, uh, the smoke fill little hoses. The difference you can see the one is really smaller. But yeah, this is a beautiful locomotive. And look at the front of the locomotive. It has a plastic bell. It doesn't have any metal. It doesn't move or anything. It has nice detail. It has uh, the number board there. We'll have to see if that lights up. I'm not sure. It does have a crew figure inside. And I guess it does look a little bit like a bug kind of in the front. So I guess that's why they call them the doodle bugs. And these were uh, usually gas or diesel motors. And uh, yeah, that's how they used them. Pretty cool.
And the side detail looks pretty good. Uh, all the paint is good. It doesn't have any passengers yet. I do believe you can open it up and add some passengers, so I'm pretty sure I'll be doing that down the road. Everything, all the little details on the roof are all molded in plastic. This is a Lion Chief Plus 2.0. You're not gonna get the legacy features. And a look at the back of the locomotive. It has a plastic, a hard plastic, not rubberized, um, partition between the rear door there. I'm not really sure if the marker lights light up on the back. I'm assuming they probably don't. Uh, it does have a uh, electrocoupler on the rear, so it does have that. So I wonder if it has that in the front. Let's check that out. Yes, it does have the electrocoupler on the front as well. I do like the, the cargo door on the side too. That's kind of neat as well. I wonder if that lights up. We'll have to find out. So all right, uh, I think it's time to run this thing. I'd like to definitely wish everyone a happy new year. My channel is turning three years old today, and uh, that's quite an achievement. I have almost 1,700 subscribers, and that is uh, fantastic. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your subscriptions and for watching my videos, and uh, it's just a, it's a lot of fun doing this, that's for sure. So I can't thank you all enough. So I have some Menards uh, rolling stock that we're gonna hook up to this, and uh, let's apply power to the track. And there we go, lights up very nicely. Yeah, it would look really good with passengers in there, that's for sure. Okay, we are calling this engine 60. And let's turn her on. Oh, listen, that's cool. That is really cool. That really has a clankety clank sound of a real diesel engine. Wow, pretty cool. I guess Lionel went to the only remaining one of these and recorded the sounds for it. So this is actual doodlebug sounds. Let's hear the bell. Okay, cool. And the horn. Let's see if we can quill it. Nope. And some of the crew talk. Cool. Dispatcher, hoses are coupled. Are we clear to the main line? Over. Please hold. Yardmaster out. It's got the usual Lion Chief Plus 2.0 sound set. Sounds good. Power, we're ready. Is it okay to pull? Over. All clear to move on to the lead. All right. Yardmaster out. Let's move it out. Cool.
There we go. I knew we had a clogged smoke unit there. Just a little blow on that, and that got that smoke unit going nicely. Gosh, I love the clankety, clankety, clankety of this thing. It's really awesome. That is really cool. All right, let's uh, try the uh, shutdown sequence and see how that sounds. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and this is a really cool model. So, until next time, I'm Mark from Mark's Lionel Trains.